What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? There's a brand new class added to Official Quest Worlds today. Let's get the class. Let's rank it up. Let's see if it's any good. Let's do all that stuff. I'll show you how to get the class, and uh, we'll we'll talk about the new class. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the new class is the Evolved Lightcaster. It is attainable if you go to shops and then class shop. They didn't give it its own shop like they did for the last test class we got for Glacial Warlord. Uh, but for this class, you have to go to the class shop, uh, scroll down, you'll find Evolved Lightcaster uh, test. So in order, the order of the Lightcasters formed to support the Champion of Light. You need every mage available to fight back the chaos. All right, so... Buy that for 5k gold. Okay, let's buy that for 5k gold one more time. Thank you, inventory space. So, Evolve Lightcaster test. Alright, so let's throw in an enhancement on shops. Enhancement 50 plus. Luck. Let's try luck. I don't know. It's probably not going to be a luck class. I'm going to guess it's going to be a whiz class. Alright, but I just want to equip it on my character so I can see what it, what the stats are. So, Evolve Lightcaster test. Let's take off our armor for the purpose of this video. Unequip. There we go. So it's got the same armor as the other one. I think, isn't this the class that, okay, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this is the class that you're going to get for free if you bought the armor, uh, the Lightcaster armor they released a long time ago. So, all right. So on our character, it looks like the other armor did, uh, the one of the versions of it. Uh, okay, so class... Uh, stats and class. Oh, it's an intellect. So this is a whiz class. Uh, let's see. The, let's see the skills. So uh, this is a magical skill. Magical, magical, magical. All right. So in our auto text physical, but it looks like all our other stuff's magical. So full whiz will be the enhancement for this class that I'll use for now. It might change later when I get more knowledge on the class, but for now I'm just gonna use full whiz. I'm gonna enhance the whole class. I'll get back to you and we'll start ranking it up and I'll give my thoughts on it. Okay, so I enhanced the class, full whiz. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a full whiz class. And let's go look at the skills real quick. So I'm not a class guy, sort of guy, but I feel like I understand this class. So uh, you have a two second auto attack. I think that's about average time. Uh, nothing more there to say about that. Uh, force, so the Lingering Light is your first skill. That'll be your skill right there. That's, that's the Lingering Light. And it has a 4 second cooldown with a 10 mana cost. So very low mana cost and a very low cooldown. So this will uh, increase the amount of damage your opponent takes by 3% per stack and last 8 seconds if not restacked. Uh, so you could infinitely stack this up to 50. And when you get up to 50, you're doing 150 times extra damage to your opponent. I don't know if this uh, would modify the uh, damage output by your other skills or just your auto attack. Uh, sometimes they don't clarify that and that's how that works. But if it does affect your other skill damage, having a 150% extra damage on, say, your fifth skill would be pretty insane. Uh, considering your fifth skill deals 700% damage over time for 10 seconds. Uh, giving a 150% modifier to 700%. That's pretty insane, um, but of course your fifth skull is still a 35 mana cost. It's long range, 500%. Death. I don't, I don't, what, why does it say it does a large damage dealing 700%, does a large amount of damage dealing 700% damage over time for 10 seconds and also 500%. So does the skill do 500% uh, auto attack damage and then do the 700% damage over time of 10 seconds? I think that's how that works. So very cool. That's your last skill. You have Illuminate, which is your heal. Heals 300% spell damage uh, to up to six allies. Up to six allies? Um, you can't even have six people in your party in the game. So okay. <laughs> and applies Illumin Illuminated, which increases damage, crit damage, crit chance, hit chance, dodge chance, haste, and damage resistance. All by 8% for 12 seconds cannot stack. So you're getting an 8% increase for a lot of chances and stuff. So very, very good skill. I actually really like this skill. That's a really good buff skill uh, with a really good heal on it. 300% spell damage heal. 
and I don't know why I'm doing these out of order, but Light Blast. Blast your opponent with a ball of pure energy, dealing significant damage that is granted to hit but not but cannot crit. Each hit applies a stack of blinding by light or binded by light, which decreases your opponent's chance to hit by 5% per stack in the last 6 seconds. If not restack, matches, maxes out at 5 stacks, so you get an extra 25%. On um, decreasing your opponent's chance to hit by an extra 25% if stacked to the max right there. So this class is probably going to be really decent. Let's rank it up and try it out. Now let's stop reading skills. Let's actually do stuff. Oh wait, 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 wait. I forgot to go over the uh, important passives. So uh, Mental Blight and Intellect by 15. Uh, we got Haste by 15 and Damage by 15. So you rank 10 passive. Passive 3 is always a rank 10 passive. Uh, that's an extra 15%, I guess. So just all your damage. I like it. I like it. So let's go rank up the class. Alright, I thought I'd throw this in to the video. Just for people also ranking up the class along with me right now. Um, if you go to your bank and you go to items here, you might have boosts in your bank. Check it. Uh, you want you want to get a class point boost out. I already have one in my inventory. Uh, also wearing an item like the Cape of Awe on the normal server. They don't stack on the testing servers They did stack at one point. I don't know if they still stack someone should leave a comment about that if you know uh, But doing it on the testing server might actually get you rank a lot faster uh, But I'm just gonna be doing it on the normal server because it's gonna be pretty fast either way So I'm a member which means I have access to uh, area uh, called slash join Nightmare uh, so this area is the fastest way to get class points to my knowledge, and it's only available for members. If you're a non-member, I would recommend uh, going to slash join Eagles Reach and going to the level appropriate area. So you have to do quests here, but once you're done all the quests, you can come here and you can rank up really easily here. So, and this class is also really easy to rank up because it's got a ranged 2 skill, which is very helpful for ranking up a class in this area because... These mobs are hard to auto attack sometimes because like you can't really tell if they're dead or alive so wow okay that's skill animation so I'm gonna rank up the class I'll come back to you once I got to rank 5 and then I'll get to rank 10 also and uh, we'll try that out so I'll be back once I get to rank 5 and if I see anything cool along the way I'll show you guys Okay, so here's a quick little observation so far from using the class is I already ran out of mana and I only have two skills. Um, so I've only been using the two skills. I think I've only popped the uh, the number three skill right there. I only think I've only used it like twice, but I can't use it anymore because I got to keep stacking with my 10 mana uh, four second cooldown skill right there. Um, so I'm running out of mana and I can't use any of my other skills. So I guess you would have to like stop stacking to increase skills. Uh, maybe I should uh, like turn the mana cost down on the stacking skill a little bit. So I just unlocked my heals. See the animation on that? There it is. That's a pretty intense animation. I like it. It's very, very. That's a very loud animation. It shows up. It's very big. But uh, that should do a good heal. Should keep everyone alive. Hopefully. So far, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm liking the class so far. Uh, let's keep using it. Let's get it up to rank 5. Okay, so here's another observation I make um, that I, just, I was just thinking of. And it applies to all classes that have stacking abilities. So in Borderlands 2, uh, there's a character called the Mechromancer in the game. And this character has a stacking ability. Um, so you can build stacks, and the higher your stacks, the more damage they'll do, right? Uh, but in Adventure Quest Worlds, you, there's also a bunch of classes that have stacking abilities, but you can't see how many stacks you have. In Borderlands, you can see how many stacks you have, and it's always really helpful because sometimes it's hard to, like, figure out whether or not you have, uh, 50 stacks or 25 stacks, or maybe you have, maybe your stacks reset and you didn't notice, and, like, I don't know, it's, I wish there was a way to tell how many stacks you had in Adventure Quest Worlds, that's what I'm trying to say. So, um, hopefully they add something like that in the future, that'd be really cool. Moving on. Okay, I got the class to rank 5, and I've not seen the 5th skill used yet. So I've not seen the animation, I haven't seen the damage, I haven't seen anything about the 5th skill in-game yet. So, let's check it out, I guess. So, we're here at Pirates. I always test the Pirates, because it's just where everyone tests. So, why not keep testing here? Uh, so, 69,000 HP on this boss. 
So let's stack up uh, the two skill a few times. Just for good measure, you know, add, add a little bit more damage. And then we'll use the fifth skill. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to stack a little bit. I'll come back once I have quite a few stacks. And then we'll use our fifth skill for the first time. Okay, here's the healing animation for the people that want to see. I think I've already showed it, but here it is again. There you go. Uh, not. It looks pretty cool. I actually really like the idea. I don't think there's any animation similar to that in the game. I really like the healing animation on this class. Alright, so we stacked quite a few times. I think we probably got about 20 stacks at this point. Somewhere near there. Around that point. So, not full stack, but uh, we do have quite a few stacks. Enough to see what the fifth skill can do at this point. So let's hit the fifth skill. Uh, please don't miss the fifth skill. Here we go. Ah! I really like that animation. I really like that animation. That's pretty sick. Okay, it's gonna come back soon too. And I don't think we've lost our stack. 2k heal. Pretty good, pretty good. There we go, let's hit again. 5k, let's go. Okay, that did a 5k that time. Yeah, so this class has a heal. It has a sort of a nuke, I guess. And it's got a ranged auto attack, or a ranged two skill. Which I really like. Donnelly did it 1800. I really like this class. It's a really fun class so far. Boom. 6k. Let's go. So yeah. it's The heal keeps you alive. You're doing damage. You're stacking. Uh, the 3 skill. I really don't see a point to the 3 skill. I don't use it because it costs too much mana for what it does. That's probably my only complaint about the class is the number three or the second skill, I guess, or the number three skill. It just the mana on it doesn't make sense. So it costs 20 mana and blasts your opponent with a ball of pure light, dealing significant damage and grants um, granted to crit. Each hit applies a stack, uh, which decreases your opponent's chance to hit by 5% per stack. It lasts six seconds if not restacked. So it's really not worth the 20 mana. I would recommend not using the 3 skill. I mean, it does a little bit of damage. It may be in PvP. Uh, no, I wouldn't use it in PvP either because the skill does about the same damage. So, like, here we go. So, here's a 2 skill. So, it's ranged. So, this is a 2 skill. So, we're doing, we did 764 on a critical. Here's the 3 skill. We did 640 on a non-crit. And we auto attacked right after. So here's the three skill again. 694 on a non crit. So you can't crit with this, right? Skill can't crit. It does 694 every time with full whiz. Level 65 full whiz. So we use our two skill. We hit a 200 followed by an auto attack. We hit a 277 followed by an auto attack. Oops. There we hit an 849 on that guy. Oh, there's another 849. So if you're criticaling on your 2 skill, it's doing more damage than your 3 skill. Although your 3 skill is more consistent damage. But for double the mana cost, you're better off casting this twice than casting your 3 skill once. In my opinion, at least. So I think the they should reduce the mana cost on the Light Blast by maybe, fifth, maybe 5 mana or something. like Because it really doesn't make sense to use that skill at all right now in battle. I didn't use it once when I... Like, it's not a good skill at the moment for the cost of mana that it takes. I mean, I like the idea of the skill, sort of, but the mana cost is just too high on that skill. So those are my thoughts on the new class. Uh, it's very good. Uh, I like it a lot, and I have a lot of fun using it, too. Like, that nuke is fun to use, and the cooldown on the nuke isn't too long, and uh, it stacks, and it's got a good heal, it's got a multi-target heal. It's just, it's all around just a fun class to use, and I really enjoyed ranking up so far. I haven't got it ranked 10, so you can add 15% to the overall damage of the class that I'm doing right now, if this class was ranked 10. So that's another 15%, which adds up, and that does make a difference. But I don't think I want to get the class to rank 10, because tomorrow I'm going to have to rank 10 it again. So I don't really want to rank 10 a class twice in two days, the same class. I've done that before. Um, so, yeah, it's just... It's a really fun class. I would highly recommend trying it out today if you have the chance to, if you have a membership, or getting it tomorrow when it comes out. Uh, how we get this class? Would I spend 2k ACs on this class? Maybe. If I had the extra ACs and I want the class, yeah, I would. But it's a really cool class, and 
hopefully you get it if you bought the armor. Hopefully this is for the armor that looks similar to this. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I really hope they do more test class in the future. I would like a one day notice before they do it. Like, hey, tomorrow we're doing the testing class. That would be nice because I didn't really know that was going to happen today. So, I didn't have any plans around it. So, it'd be nice to have a little bit of a warning at least for the next time. But, uh, I really do like that they're doing test classes. Test class? test classes in adventure quest worlds it's really cool and i really do like it leave a like if you enjoyed the video guys and uh follow me on twitter i tweet out a lot i'll see you guys all in the next video peace